Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So this is the next project on my workbench. That is the Supermarine Spitfire Mark I 148 scale from uh, Tamiya. And this is one that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, ever since it came out recently, I've seen nothing but good things about it. Um, you know, as far as the fit goes and what the model actually looks like once people have completed it. Uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do. So I went ahead and picked it up. I spent about $40 on it and um, I figured I would do an unboxing here. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Um, first of all, the artwork on the front here, um, very, very beautiful, very cool. Um, I like, you know, the, the white clouds and the, the countryside over there. So I uh, definitely like the artwork here. And um, you got some different pictures here on the side. Uh, this one being the pre-World War II 1939 uh, version. And then over here on this side. This would be the Operation Dynamo version. Um, and I actually did a 172nd scale airfix. Um, and I did this this version of it, I believe. Uh, this one has the actual identification on the bottom, so it's got like that black wing and then the silver on the other side. So um, take a look at that and just you know, seeing other people build it, like the, the detail on the cockpit is amazing. And um, even though you get a pilot and everything, I'm probably going to opt to maybe have the cockpit open like this. I haven't decided yet, but, um, you know, definitely have some options with it. So let's, um, let's take a look here, see what we got. So you got some uh, some wing parts here. You got the propeller, and I can already see how great that detail looks, even inside of this. So let me uh, get these pieces out. And we'll take a closer look. Clear pieces there. Fuselage halves. Oh, look at this. Look at this photo etch. Very cool. Decals in there. Looks like we got some some masks too. So I've never used those before. That'll be that'll be interesting. And got another sprue here with uh, some other bits on here. Parts of the back wings. There's your pilot. Even the pilot detail looks good. This is some background information. Got some information about the Spitfire. I'm going to love reading this. This is really cool. Um, very awesome. It's got like the different specs and everything. I'll have to take a look at that. Wow, so here's a color chart. Amazing. Wow, look at that. This will make some good poster art, too. Hang on the wall or in your workspace. So, I've been, I'm so used to working with the, the black and white, you know, with these smaller 172nd scale ones, uh, the cheaper ones. Like, this is going to be pretty cool to do and the last thing here these are the instructions so let's take a quick peek here so it looks like you got three different options for the markings I'll have to decide which one uh, 
which one I want to do there. I think I want to go for the more traditional where it's the uh, the sky color on the, the whole bottom, but I'll be deciding that later on. Directions look pretty good. Um, I know this is the part where you're going to have to decide whether you want it open or not. Um, but as you can see, this whole side here is you have to put a piece in here. So depending on what you want to do with that, but just amazing detail with uh, with everything. Everything's clearly called out what the color should be. So that's very cool. Um, cockpit getting put in there different things there's the seat belts pilot if you choose to do it very detailed how to paint them oh, I like this so here's the wheels. So the wheels go in as one piece. It's not just, you know, glue one side in, glue the other one and make sure the alignment's right. Like this is all just one piece that goes in right, right down there. So that's amazing. Here we're getting the, the masks and everything. So that'll be interesting once I get to that. You got the propeller. Here's the stencils. So that's always nice when the stencils are separate. So shows the rigging as well. Let me get some of this, these bags open. We'll take a look at the, the actual plastic molds. So I'm not going to do every single tree and everything, but um, I did want to look at some, some examples of what we got here. And I, I can already tell like the molding on this looks very good, very crisp. Um, I mean, you can see the detail. You can see the rivets there and everything. So that looks fantastic. And let's take a look at one of the things I'm most excited about here. And that's just the inside of the cockpit. There's your different choices. So you gotta make some decisions pretty early how you wanna how you wanna tackle it. But very impressed with this so far. And um, you know, from what I've seen, it looks like it, it fits together like a like a dream. So I'm hoping that that is the case. And here's another look at that photo etch and the seat belts. I always have to make the seat belts out of tape and do some other things. So I mean this is this is a this will be a good thing. So I am uh, I'm very excited to get start on the started on this. Like I said, this is one that I've wanted to do for for a while. And I'm going to do a regular vlog series just like I did with the, uh, the Zero and the, and the Wildcat. So I'll be doing that. And, um, you know, if you want to follow along, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get going on it. So I'll see you guys soon. This is Joe from Joe K Models.